Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope that you and your family members are all doing very, very well today. Happy to be back. Got a great request for today. Let's get into it. The only thing that stays consistent is the grind. Keep on grinding. So one of the subscribers of this channel asked to see a three, a four, and a five millimeter rope stack so they want to see it all together on one neck we're going to be taking a look at that today we're also going to be doing a deep dive into the differences between the three the four and the five up close on camera and then you guys will be able to get a great view from 12 feet away because as you guys might or might not know this is what we do on this channel we take jewelry 12 feet back so you guys can get the best idea of whether or not this stuff is going to look good on you in real life because you can get a much better idea as to the perspective of what we're looking at when it's further away okay so in case you don't know my name is joe today i am 160 pounds normally i'm in the 150s but i'm very very carved up the last two days unfortunately one of my favorite restaurants is closing down um blackbird pizzeria over in philly unfortunately they're going to be closing down so i took advantage of that fact and i ordered a ton of stuff and so i'm super carved up long story short but 160 pounds five foot six and uh, we're going to be taking this jewelry 12 feet back today. Let's take a look up close and personal on the camera to see the differences between the 3, the 4, and the 5 millimeter rope chain. Here on the hand, we have the 3, the 4, and the 5 millimeter rope chain. I'm sure you guys will be able to tell very well which one is which. And you guys are going to be getting an even better view of these chains when we take them 12 feet back, let me tell you, because... It truly does make a huge difference. This is the three, this is the four, and this here is the five. Now I just want to point something out to you guys. Do you see my finger here? Check my finger out. Does it look a little red? I just noticed how red it looks. And of course the lighting is going to have to do with that. But I can see on the camera that's more red than the other fingers. Can you guys believe that that's because of the carbs? Carbs, a lot of people, this is completely off the topic, but you guys might be familiar with the fact that I have a bodybuilding channel and I talk about this stuff on that channel, but you guys might find it to be interesting that your jewelry may fit differently based upon your weight. Let me tell you something. When people think carbs make them gain a lot of fat, they actually make them gain a lot of water weight. So you might look more puffy and physically be more puffy because when you ingest carbs, Com completely off topic, but hopefully you guys appreciate this. When you ingest carbs, your body can hold more water physically. So you're going to use the bathroom less because your body's holding more water. Your body is going to retain more water weight. And so check out how my, usually this ring is super loose on me. Today it is tight on me and I can really see that difference on camera. But back to what you came here for. All right, so we have the three, we have the four, and we have the five millimeter rope. Now, I, I personally think that, I mean, it doesn't matter what I think, but personally, I think five millimeters is a great, great everyday wear, okay? I think a lot of people feel as though five to five and a half, depending on the chain, is a great everyday wear, depending on the chain. And I bring that up because... As we know, the rope chain has a huge, massive presence that, um, to the point where you can even you can even get away with wearing a four millimeter rope chain and have that, I think, be a great everyday chain. Okay, um, we're, we're to the point where you may not even have to buy a five if you want a very prominent look, because of the fact that it's just so, uh, it's just such a bulky chain. All right, so we're going to take this back. We're going to take this back 12 feet. Okay? And you guys are going to get a great idea. I'm going to stack these so you guys can see exactly what that's going to look like and be able to tell the differences between each. Okay, so we're back with all of these chains around the neck. As you guys might be able to notice, we have here the five millimeter. This is hanging at 22 inches. We have the four millimeter, and this is hanging at 24 inches. We have 
the three millimeter hanging the longest at 30 inches. Now, I didn't necessarily want to do this. It's just the way it worked out. This chain, this three millimeter just happens to be at 30 inches. So that's what we have to look at today. So you can see a huge difference from up close, huge difference from up close. And you're gonna see an even bigger difference from further away. All right, so keep in mind, this is the five, this is the four. Those are the two that if you're gonna get confused, you might get confused between those two. The three is just, you can see this is a three. But let me tell you, if we just w took three down, the, down 12 feet down, you would be very impressed with what it looks like, especially when not comparing them to these two chains over here, all right? So let's take this 12 feet back, give you guys a good idea of what we're looking at. Okay, 12 feet away now. Tell me, let me know guys, what do you find to be the best for everyday wear? Not that this particular subscriber said that this was gonna be for everyday wear, but I gotta assume that it might be because in everyday wear, especially with a rope chain, I think between like three to five millimeters is fantastic for an everyday presence. Really, really nice, but you, you could get away with so much with a rope chain. It really is a beautiful chain. Very versatile, does a lot for you and for your look, and it really, really can help you maintain a budget if you're on one. So I hope this video was helpful. Look forward to catching you guys in the next video. Talk soon.